Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Joe McCoy. It's the biggest game of the year, the national championship. Iowa playing in the title game for the second straight year, looking to finish the job this time around. We head over to sports reporter Corey Cuffler to break down everything. Corey. And during the national championship, diehard fans cheered on the Hawkeyes at a bar in Davenport. Maddie Fran shows us how all this hype helped support a good cause. They came out to that hot start, then got down by like 14 at one point, and then they cut it back to six. I thought maybe they had a miracle run in them, but South Carolina. Yeah, nothing to be dominant. shame of, in, you know, in shame of. That, that was a great season by Iowa, and uh, what a legacy. Lasting legacy for Yep, sure. absolutely. Not a we are just one day away from the solar eclipse, and many of you have been sending us emails asking if your eclipse glasses are safe to wear. Well, our National Verify team has everything you need to know to ensure your solar eclipse glasses are good to go. Some eclipse enthusiasts are taking their watch parties to a whole new level, 30,000 feet in the air to be specific, and that's as NASA gears up to go even higher on a chase to help them learn more about the sun and maybe the universe. ABC's Gio Benetti's has this high-flying story. Still ahead, the Israel-Hamas war has reached the six-month mark. Israel defense forces leaving southern Gaza, but the IDF proclaiming their fight is not over yet. What leaders across the world are saying. And a Southwest flight declares an emergency after a piece of engine cover came off and was blowing in the wind. What Southwest says was the issue is next. You're watching News 8 at 10. It's sad to see the Hawkeye, this two-year run, be over, but I can't help but think about 10 years from now, 15 years from now, the girls who grew up watching Iowa basketball who are going to go to Iowa simply to be the next Caitlin Clark. Yeah. And and it's going to be amazing. And this A Southwest flight flying from Denver to Houston this morning declared an emergency after a piece of engine cover came off and was blowing in the wind. Southwest in a statement calling it a mechanical issue. The flight did safely return to Denver. New ceasefire and hostage negotiations have resumed in Egypt, hoping to make progress towards peace as the Israeli-Hamas war reaches its six-month mark. Here's ABC's Britt Klenet from Israel. Do you have a spot where you're viewing the eclipse tomorrow? Uh, probably my hotel. Okay. <laughs> if we're being they have a nice roof you can yeah, look up you're on. Yeah, like, oh, well, you know, uh, not too bad out there. For real, though, everyone, you do really need to be careful about your eyes. Do not look up at the sun unless you have the proper eclipse glasses. You truly could hurt your retina. <laughs> Thank goodness for that verified. Yes, yeah. just great. listen to the verified. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Love it. And that is a beautiful 14-day tracker. Yeah, you're welcome. It's, that's just what we like to you see. You are Evan. so welcome. Thank you. <laughs> just ahead in sports, we go back to Cleveland for more from Jenna on the Hawkeyes. <laughs> 